Boy, it seems like we live in a world of entitlement. By entitlement, I mean people think that everyone else owes them, that they somehow need to be treated differently than everybody else. I saw this when I was working. Um, I worked with a few young people that came right out of college and thought they were gonna make $150,000 and just go right to the top and that they weren't gonna have to do anything. Well, let's talk about entitlement and see what Jesus had to say about it in your morning cup of inspiration. Mmm, I actually have coffee in there today and it tastes really good. Jesus, the Son of God, he is part of the Trinity, the creator of the universe. He was there in the beginning. and It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus was the Word. He brought the Word to life because in John 1, 1, it says, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. So he gave us an example when he was with his disciples at the Last Supper in the book of John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the fourth book in the New Testament. And I'm reading this story from the New International Version. I like the way it reads. Starting at verse four of John chapter 13, it says, so he got up from the meal, referring to Jesus, took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet drying them with the towel that was wrapped around them. Do you believe this? He's washing their feet. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord Simon Peter replied, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. You see, Jesus was giving the disciples an example, an example that even he, the Son of God, came not to be served, but to serve. He didn't feel like he was entitled. He was here to take care of his disciples and to everyone that came with him. He had a servant's attitude. So if Jesus, our Savior, the Lord of the universe, can serve, do you think we should feel entitled? No, we should be here to serve others, to be there for others, to be a friend, to bless others. That's what we hope to do here at Fearless Faith, to bless you with our morning cups of inspiration. I hope you will do that to others and continue to share our videos. Remember, we have our YouTube channel at Fearless Faith and check out our Instagram page, Fearless Faith Ministries. God bless you and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration. Mmm, coffee really does taste better, I think, in our mugs.